Let me get this right. Dude post a video of his girl putting butter on his waffles. Guys love it. But I just watched the think piece on why dude has mommy issues and or no masculine man would allow their girl to put butter on their waffles because now she's starting to become his mom. Why is it a problem when a woman shows love for a man? Why is it a problem online whenever a woman shows a caring trait for a man saying, here, you know what? I'm going to do this for you. Now, me personally, do I need you to butter my waffles all the time? Absolutely not. But if every once in a while you want to do something caring, like, I don't know if I'm about to eat an orange and you say, no, I'm going to peel that orange for you. You know, the same way the girl's been asking their man to peel an orange for them. I'm not going to sit up here and argue against it. It's no different than fixing somebody a plate. I'm a grown ass man. Don't mean I need you to fix my plate. But guess what some women like to do? They like to take care of their man. So they going to fix the plate the same way that girl sat up there and put some butter on a waffle. So then it goes back to the original statement. This is why some of you don't got a man in the first place. Because you make a big deal out of everything. And you're like, oh my God, no masculine man would ever have me do that. If you don't like them, just say that. I don't know. Is it just me or does it seem like women don't want to do anything in relations nowadays except show up? <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron. Back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. And if any of you guys uh, follow Zoom to Thailand, Richie Mac, um, L like cuts his food up for him and everything all the time before they start um eating and he says it, and he makes sure to let us know like i don't ask her to do this she just does this this is one of the reasons why passport bros is a thing man because when men leave this country that's the kind what you're about to see is the kind of treatment that a lot of men are getting overseas we're, we're, i'm gonna show you the video that he's referring to of the guy getting his waffles butter check this out yep. I know I'm going to get a lot of criticism for this, but this is just my perspective based on my experiences in relationships. But when I saw this video, it made me feel like this is something I would do for my four-year-old son if I had one. Now, I'm not going to say anything too crazy. I'm in a good mood. I'm about to drive to Tampa, watch the Eagles get their ass beat, you know, TikTok. They payment that hit that PayPal account. So I'm not going to say anything too crazy, but you sound fucking you stupid. I don't know if I'll get banned if I tell her to shut the fuck up or should I just ask her to please stop talking. You mad because the lady putting butter on her boyfriend waffles? That made you mad, bro. It reminded you of something that you would do for your son. How you say that, but in the same breath say this. And this is coming from someone whose love language is acts of service. I get so much joy. Shut up, bitch. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Not the cap. Y'all yeah, heard it. I guess men shouldn't drive their girlfriends around everywhere because that's something that parents do for their children, right? I guess if your man wanted to be nice and make you breakfast in the morning, he shouldn't do that because that's something that parents do for their children, right? I guess if a man wanted to pay all the fucking bills, he shouldn't do that because that's something that parents do for their children, right? Pay all the bills while the child stays home and does nothing, right? Please go get you a man. <laughs> Go get you a man. You mad because she put butter on her boyfriend waffles. Putting butter on her boyfriend waffles. That made you mad, bro. Did I look mad in that video? I wasn't mad at all. But you sure look pissed. <laughs> but then again, it's really not that complicated to get a beta male's panties in a bunch, so. It's really not that hard to get a beta male's panties in a bunch. Ain't nobody listening to all that. You made a four-minute video. I skipped through it, bro. You ain't talking about nothing. Either you're going to butter that man waffles or you're not. Whenever you have more comments on your video than likes, that means that you said something wrong. Damn, Kelly Rowland, why are you so mad about the butter on the waffles? I don't care how soft you speak. First off, who still says beta? You still walking around here calling men beta? Beta males. You worse than the red pill, guys. I should ask you out on a date and order waffles just to make you mad on purpose. Let's go on a date so I can ask you to put butter on my waffles. 
asshole. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about, bro. This I don't think women realize how hypocritical they sound when they say this shit. Have you noticed the same women that want a man to pay for everything are the same women that say anything that they do for a man makes them feel like they're taking care of a child, but a man that pays all the bills, including yours, that's not that's not the same thing as taking care of a child. That is bullshit. I'm like, ain't it funny how women alleviate alleviate that when it when, when it when, when it comes to something that benefits them oh nah 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 if it's beneficial to me oh nah 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 that, that that's good but then as soon as it don't then all of a sudden it's a problem and it's the exact same damn thing you can't make this up and it gets worse man check out this next video i got engaged and i lost 500 followers on instagram let's talk about it not surprised at all my guess is she even mentions this later on in the video. Go check out her, the rest of her video. But the 500 sisters that she lost was the fake, bitter, and broken, toxic sisterhood. I always say this. It is other women that keep other women single. They don't like for you to be happy in a happy marriage. I mean, it, today in today's time, I think the litmus or the true test of sisterhood and even amongst family sometimes. Don't get proposed to, don't get engaged, don't find true love, don't be in a marriage or a happy marriage, um, especially. Because that's when you're gonna know who your true family, like I said, sometimes is, who your true friends, who your true tribe, and who your true followers are. Because misery loves company. Everything was going great until she got engaged. And that's just an example of what we see in everyday life all over this app in society. Women support, rah, 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 cheer on the women that leave their husbands, that break up their families, that are against marriage, that are against men, black men especially, that are against family, keeping family together. That's what they like. They like brokenness. That's the true litmus test for friendship nowadays. Want to know who your real friends, who your real family is? Get engaged. Or say you, you love your marriage, you love your husband, you, you're happy as a married woman. That's when the um, true colors show. That's when the mask comes off. Or do something kind, like ask a service for your husband and see the reaction that you get. Like the girl buttering that man's waffles. This is what I'm talking about, bro. These women act like unless a man is putting that woman on a pedestal and ain't receiving anything in return, that you basically you basically have to you basically have to simp in order to be seen as a good dude nowadays. Pay for everything, don't expect nothing in return, take disrespect, don't talk back. It's almost like they want men to be they want men to be able to afford everything but they want to be able to talk to you like a child every at, at the same time they they want to be able to treat you like a child but expect you to pay it pay for everything like a grown like a grown grown ass man ain't nobody got time for that interesting let's keep it moving breaking news this video behind me is going viral and causing controversy check this out um i'm just gonna give it to you straight if you're looking for a girl who's gonna take care of you or cook you dinner or gonna provide for you, you're not gonna find that here, okay? I don't bring things to the table. You know what I bring? I bring these good looks, this hot body, and an unforgettable personality. But that's about it. Everything else is pretty much up to you. And I like it that way. I'm gonna keep it that way. So if you're looking for a girl who's gonna bring something to the table, you're not gonna find that here. And you might as well move along and not take me out. So yeah. Uh, just wanted to let you guys Now there's pretty much two groups of people responding to this video. One group is saying that this woman here is stunning and brave. And that she is destroying the patriarchy with this video. Because they're pretty much saying what she said is based because she's pretty much saying she's not going to be a guy's mother. And that if you want a housewife, you need to go back to the 1950s. But other people are saying that this video is troubling. Because this woman is pretty much admitting that it's pointless in dating her. That what she brings is only skin deep and that's it. 
And many people are saying that looks fade away and what would be the point of dating her because even if you find her attractive, that's only gonna last for so long and then what? I don't know, this whole video just seems condescending to me in the first place because I think on some level she's joking but on another level she's not. She just sounds bitter, upset, and someone, well, you wouldn't want to date. But let me know your thoughts. Love, peace, and taco grease. You know what? When I, I agree with him, man, because when I first, when I was first looking at it, I'm thinking to myself, like, is she serious or is she playing or is she doing a little bit of both? Is this satire? Like, what's going on here? I will say this, though. It confirms, once again, what we say what I say on this channel and what we say in this space. This woman wants special treatment for nothing. And the fact that you had people in the, in the comments saying, uh, she's destroying the patriarchy. She's not gonna be somebody's mom. And can you imagine if men spoke like that? Uh, I'm not gonna pay for any of these. I'm not gonna pay these women's bills because I'm not trying to be your dad. Bro, women would throw a hissy fit about that. How dare you? But when they talk like this, don't nobody blink. And, and men are just supposed to shut up and take it. Let's keep it moving. We're in a generation of dating where having feelings and having love for someone is a weakness, right? If you are a simp or you just show too much love for somebody, like you go over the top to show them how much you care about them. I don't see that as a weakness. I see that as a strength because at least you're putting yourself out there and you're saying, here's my vulnerability. Here's my potential to love you. And I'm going to show it regardless because that's who I am. You're owning that. You're owning that identity of a lover, not a fighter, not someone who avoids connecting with people just to look like the more prideful person and to have the upper hand and to show that no one's going to make you care too much, right? It's like this generation of dating would rather break connections than actually offer up vulnerability and potential for a real relationship. It's very sad how cooking and cleaning is an act of love towards your partner, yet people still refuse to do it. And then they also want men to provide and protect for them. Like, yes, you are the prize because these men are providing and protecting you. That makes you the prize. However, just because you're the prize, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't make your man feel like a king. Validating a man is so freaking easy. Just make him feel special. Let him tell you about his feelings. I disagree with one part that she said, and I already know a lot of guys are probably going to say the same thing in the comments. Can't say that you're the prize when you want a man that pays, that pays all the bills. There's only a small percentage of men that can do that. However, there is a large percentage of women that are attractive enough. Because men don't need the most beautiful woman in the world to be with in order to make things work. So, with that in mind, in my opinion, based on logic and hypergamy, and the fact that men are far more willing to date down than women are, just based off that logic alone, I gotta disagree. I think men are the prize, so to speak. In my Now, in my personal opinion, I think the relationship is the prize, but... That's a whole nother topic. I'm not going to get into that. Let's continue. Should I start a fight? Over what? A few months ago, my boyfriend got me this flower subscription. So now every single month, someone shows up to the door with a beautiful bouquet. That actually sounds rather sweet. But what exactly is one debating starting a fight about? First couple months, I was like so sweet, obsessed. Then today, the guy comes with the bouquet. And he was like, oh my God, yeah, the flowers from the subscription. This man completely forgot he was paying for this and subscribed to it. So I was like, okay, is this sweet or is this just him being lazy? Do we respect him for thinking smarter, not hard? Or does he need to buy flowers individually every single month? Seriously? That's the point of contention here? That the man subscribed to a flower delivery service to make sure that the woman that he was in a relationship with had fresh flowers delivered on a regular basis. But yet some women will actually find a reason to put their ungratefulness on full display in addition to their entitlement. Because remember, a person isn't entitled to gifts from a person they're in a relationship with. Gifts are given because the person wants to do so. And seeing videos like this, it's no small wonder that a large number of men have just given up. Because no matter what they do, it's never enough. Because someone is actually contemplating starting a fight, thinking that their man was lazy for subscribing to a flower delivery service. 
I'm not even surprised anymore. And I wish she would start a fight with me over that shit. Cause you know what I'll do? Cancel that subscription. Like now you ain't getting shit. Now what? Cause like she said, you ain't entitled to gifts. He did that because he wanted to, not because he had to. Damn, so ungrateful, bro. You can't win for losing, bro. I tell you. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way I know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. As well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.